what is up beautiful people welcome back to Lou Rock TV and as you can see it is the next day um, the little get together went well into the night and probably would have gone way later but a couple of the homies and you know family had to uh, drive a few hours so perfectly understandable which is fine because I had to wake up at 4 30 today to go to work <laughs> But um, let me just say, what a great time. I just can't say it enough. I know there's been people uploading their videos today and um, saying the same thing. But for me, especially, this is as national as it gets for me <laughs> in 2023. Um, so to have this was awesome. But There'll be a link in the description below. Oh, my homie P Daz was set up as a dealer. OG, I'm talking about YouTube royalty. That's an OG. So, a lot of fun. Um, you'll see in the video uh, the show. I showed some cards, um, some vintage. I just showed a little of the vintage that was there from the dealer that I bought from. Um, just a great time. And uh, yeah, that's it. I have one regret. I wish I recorded um, everyone who came to the man cave. Uh, but because it's so nice when people who are cut from the same cloth, like-minded, see stuff and they appreciate it. Like they see little things but like, oh, I didn't know you had this. Because it's hard to show what I have on this little camera angle, you know? And, um, you know, I'm always switching stuff out, rotating. And it was real cool to see everyone just looking at the autos and looking at the, <laughs> at the rookie cards I have. Um, my Yankee collection. Hitman saw Don Maddenly that he really, really uh, enjoyed and um, has never seen in my collection. He didn't know I had it. I've had that for years. But I'll leave that for another day. But um, yeah, the McFarlands. Uh, it was just, it was just fun, man. I had a blast. And then on top of it, the Yankees, Red Sox were playing last night. The Belmont was going on, so I had that stuff in the background. As we enjoyed the backyard, some drinks, good food that um, me and my wife ordered. It's just a good freaking time. So, um, yeah, I think we could make that a yearly thing. You know, go we'll find a a nice little card show. A weekend that everyone can partake and do that so with that here's uh, the card show and then i'll show you my pickups at the end of the video so you can either watch the video or fast forward to the end <laughs> <laughs> what's up beautiful people welcome back to lou rock tv and today i got orlando a collector's dream <laughs> john mangini <laughs> And my homeboy Julian, Game Maddox. Go check him out, Gamer Extraordinaire. And we are here to meet all the YouTubers. No one has any idea of what to buy. I think we're just here to chill, drink, and then go to Casa de Lou Rock. Come on, let's go look at some baseball cards. Put that thing away. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll be back. Yeah, same. <laughs> look at John in amazement. He's like, this place is so fancy. So fancy. Man, they, we just opened, it's 10 o'clock, it's popping, it is popping. I'm gonna start looking at vintage. I'm ready to start shopping, let's do it. Still have not found anything, and look at this. This is the YouTube corner right here. Little YouTube, YouTube corner. <laughs> My man. Good to meet you, bro. Good to find me, the man. With the story. <laughs> here you go, the man. What do you, what do you know about uh, Iron Jim McGinnis? Uh, and here's John Mangini testing the young bucks. Testing them. I'll be back. You want to do the honors? Here, say it again. Start, say it again. I thought you were looking for like the players that were here. No, man. Heavy hitters are in the house, man. Like, I came to get some autographs. That's, I'm an autograph guy. <laughs> so my first autograph is going to be Liam. There you go, Liam. The legend, got, the, the, you, the future Hall of Famer. Future Hall of Famer, right here. <laughs> Sign it wherever you want, man. Take the sweet spot, son. There you Take go. The sweet spot. <laughs> That's it. And then put, I guess, your YouTube channel name right underneath. Just in case 
Don't let forget someday. There you go, man. That's awesome, this is bro. YouTube history. <laughs> this is my channel's history. <laughs> YouTube history. Shit, I gotta get Hitman over here. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm hey, gonna, you know, I'm gonna sign it with you know, Phoenix. You know, <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know Michael Ham, right? Michael. Michael Ham. Michael Ham. No, I haven't met him yet. Oh, that, all the car shows, yeah, he has every car show. Yeah, local guy. Cases, just have to give people an idea what to yeah. Great channel. Oh, nice. oh, when you talk about heavy hitters, he's a heavy hitter too, bro. Yeah, he's a YouTuber. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that jam session. I, mine is messed up though. Nice. With the sing. Who's next? Orlando. Yes, sir. We need your cigs, homie. We will be signing. We'll be signing. Look, they they just hold. They just yeah. embrace. Come on, I mean, I won't see him again until. Next. What are you talking about? You guys, you guys are coming to the crib. Got to the Little Rock after. I know. You gotta sign your back. Gotta sign your back. That's all you want. Yeah. Nice. You gotta put a collector's dream there. <laughs> My man Hugh getting all the YouTubers <laughs> signing. I'm an autograph guy, you know. These, this is the, this is a highlight of my show right here. <laughs> that nope. <laughs> that yeah. So Felix Milan used to bet like this, so I'm gonna sign it where he used to. Yeah. He's got a little pine tar still. I try to get the pine tar. I was gonna thing. say uh, yeah. Here. Should I do it on the front? You want them on the front? Yeah. I can display it right here. So yeah, right there, right in front, right in the pine tar. People stopping and looking like, who are these guys? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was going to say, Hitman's around here. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right. That's a great idea. All right. Man, look at that. <laughs> That's a pretty good signature, man. You've done this before. TV. All right, nice. Now I got to get Bob right underneath your signature. I know, man. <laughs> you come by the crib, she'll sign it. Definitely, definitely. Well, that was the first. Was that your first bat that you signed? Yeah, that was my first bat. Oh man, you got it. You got it recorded in YouTube history. The first, the first, yeah, the first of many. The first of many. Future Hall of Famer, YouTube Future Baseball Hall of Famer, right here. Bernie's up. Uh, I mean, my man Sticks and Seams turning the bat. Let's see that bat. Where's the bat? Yeah, it is, man. We got Sticks and Seams. We got George Hockey Buddy, Mangini, Michael Ham, Hitman 23. We got Lou Rock TV, Collector's Dream, Orlando. Oh, man. This bat is going to be. It's already fire, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, it's not big. It's not big, but. All right, so my man Lou, we all know he likes Roberto Clemente. <laughs> and he's a Yankees guy, that's right. So the closest I could get to Roberto and the Yankees is Roberto Kelly. <laughs> How did I know? So that's for you, bro. Oh, that's <laughs> Roberto Kelly. Fan favorite, baby. Hey, yeah, That's awesome. Right? Yeah. I love it. The connection. <laughs> Roberto Kelly. I hate it. <laughs> there you I go, love man. it. Panama. I used to live in Panama. Oh, for real? Yeah. No way. Yeah, I awesome. you. Story for another day. Right. Orlando. Yes, sir. Explain to the people, the beautiful people, what I got. Oh, you got a beautiful Jim Bunny rookie card. <laughs> you got a beautiful Yaz rookie card. <laughs> and, I even showed it to the people. And I picked up a beautiful that Tony, Tony Perez rookie that Tony, card. And the price on it was... And I picked up sick. a Don Sutton rookie card. Hey, man. You can check it out. I, might, I think I got those just straight up the house. Look at these beautiful, beautiful cars. Super clean. Man, always at the pleasure. You got my man's business card? My man's always working deals right here. Always working deals. 
He's at both shows in the Bay Area, Bay Area Car Show, and Tampa. You want clean vintage? <clears throat> He's the man. Oh my gosh, another YouTube legend. <laughs> Look at these future Hall of Famers. You're talking about this guy right here, right? <laughs> okay, so tall, okay, so tall. <laughs> I really want, that's a sneaky card right there. It is, dude. And I, I need that for my set, too. I'm like, Ugh. Yeah, but I, that's just a future Hall of Famer. That's why I want it. And then oh, you got no. that. And, and you got, got and you got that Steve Baker and John Baylor. That's a sneaky card right there. A lot of people don't know about that. No doubt about it. No doubt. I'm sorry. How are you good, good homie? No neck. What are you looking for? Which crazy PC are you looking for now? Well, I'm actually filling some stuff for my 66 set. But now, you know, I've got a bat barrel here. I've got a cage here. So, you know, kind of, oh, Bernie Williams. I didn't know he played that long. Oh, yeah, I, got, I, got, I think I got his 71. <laughs> I got his 71 from Bernie. So. That's awesome. Do your thing, homie, do your thing. Oh, no, this is it, brother. Yeah, that's a nice Ted Simmons right there. That is. It's a Hall of Fame rookie card. Fly 11, Hall of Fame rookie yeah. card. Yeah. I've always thought about it. Munson. Okay, sir. Um, I see you have some vintage cards. Would you be interested in buying some soccer? Soccer? No. I don't know <laughs> Yo, future Hall of Famer. Oh, future. Hopefully. Yeah. Gotta stick with it. Yeah. Rookie of the year so far. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. Went from prospect. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Uh, That's good, man. Junior Stadium, they were in. John has story so for days. He goes days. He's still talking. Yeah. Chill at the bar. Which is it? And Dave Parker hit that ball so far, it hasn't come back yet. Put the beer down. Yeah, put the beer down. He hit that. Right seat. Alright, we're going to Casa de Lou Rock shortly after that. You did? I didn't know John had a shirt that had sleeves. Look at this guy. Look at this good looking group. Daddy! 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 I just came from the card show. I had to tell Liam to put that down, so I got him a coat. 1400 views already. People love to know how to negotiate. They're going to be real disappointed. Yeah, I love it. This is what it's all about, baby. What's all about? So I bought two cards at the card show. Super happy with my purchases. I only bought two cards, but they were uh, they were decent cards. Got to cross them off the Hall of Fame rookie card list. And uh, I'll probably put that at the end of this video for my recap. I'm sure the guys want to go to the man cave, do that. But that's what it's all about. I'm happy I was able to do this. I'm not going to the nationals. So this is as, as national as it gets for me. So uh, I'll be back. Seven cars for three bucks a piece. We had it. We got. We got James teleconference. Then I didn't know he still did YouTube videos. A homeboy. This is more rare than a Bigfoot sighting. It's yeah. James, elite hunter. <laughs> <laughs> you even collect, bruh. Do you collect? <laughs> uh, that's how we do it here. Just having fun with fam. YouTube fam in the building. I still haven't, I don't think I ever, I showed my purchases. I haven't showed them. I just bought them and forgot I was all involved in the negotiations. <laughs> And I totally forgot to show them. Wheels and dealing, brother. What do you guys like to do? Oh, wait, 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 start, start, start. <laughs> you just said go. You too loud. What do you guys like to do when we're hanging out at Lou Lock's house? We like to look at some baseball cards! Why are you laughing? <laughs> Can you do it near your dad, like right in this area? Is that cool? All right. Yeah, this is a big moment. Bob's first. Auto on a bat. All right. That's how we do it. So cool. Thanks, Bob. Here you go, Starstruck. Starstruck. I am. I'm like, I'm speechless, man. This is 
when I got this bad, that's who came to mind. I'm like, I'm gonna get Bob to sign this. You know, it's like, that was number one. YouTube's youngest Hall of Famer, you know? Heck yeah. First female in the Hall of Fame. She don't play. Look, she's just like, just another day, oh, she's baby. She's excited. Just another, she's been in the pool all day. She's excited. She's about, yeah. she's about to fall asleep. Yeah. Get ready for Yankees John Red Sox. John wants to do a uh, live stream. Yeah, we can do that. I'll turn this off. About to go live. I don't know where he wants to go live. Liam's about to go. John says he wants to just do something quick. Let's do it, baby. And I am back. So I hope you enjoy that. <clears throat> Had some pickups. I only bought two cards. Um, they weren't cheap, but I bought two cards. <laughs> um, got to cross off two Hall of Fame rookies off my master list. Um, but before I get into that, I got some gifts. So when John and I were coordinating everything, um, him coming down with his beautiful wife, um, I was like, bro, you need to bring the Bruce Lee card. I need it for my for my YouTube uh, frame. And he did, but he also brought this one, the 52, which I love. And the YouTube frame is right over there, underneath the bat. Let me see, right there. So, um, that was cool. Like I said, I wish I filmed everyone in here, but I was having such a good time just talking shop. But people really liked my frame with all the different YouTubers in there. So that's going in there. Then, of course, it seems like Sticks and Seams always... I'm such a horrible friend because he's always coming bearing gifts. <laughs> I never do. But uh, I wish he came after the show, but he had prior commitments. But um, he found this, I believe, in while he was rummaging through his collection or a bin, he was saying. But he came across it, hooked me up. And then during the show, he picked this up. One of the many parallels, but I'd never seen this one. I don't even know what it's called, but it's pretty dope. Some kind of reptile color, green and orange. It's pretty sick. Glaber Day. And then Hugo was, uh, as you saw in the video, talking about Roberto Clemente. But the closest thing that he could get to a Roberto in the pinstripes is a Roberto Kelly. Pretty dope. I used to love this top set when I was a kid. I still do. It's, it's awesome. I love it. I love the design. That brings me back to my childhood. That was like the heyday of my collecting back in the day. I used to have so many of these cars. The famous yellow on the back. Love it. And then... George, Concrete Buddy, knows I love Cepeda. And he hooked me up with a beautiful upper deck relic of Cepeda. Look at that. Baby bull. So sick. Dope. So on to the purchases. So the first one I bought is um, one of two 1957 rookies that I needed. Now, I just need the Brooks Robinson. And then I'll have all 57 rookie, Hall of Fame rookies. But this one was not too bad. Uh, there was three in close vicinity. I was talking the guy down. He was pretty firm, but I got him down to 130. Um, a little OC, but the, the registration is beautiful. Pretty crisp. And, um, that's a great looking card. Oh, it has a, that's an old tag. I don't know what that is. But he had it for me at 160. And I got him down at 130. Man, beautiful card. I love it. Just super happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> now, the big one, I'm happy with it. I'm not excited. It's one of those things I've been waiting and waiting. I just lost patience. Um, I think if, you know, I've seen them for what I paid graded. Um, but again, I don't care if they're graded or not, uh, but this card, I have a feeling just keeps on, every time I see it, it seems to be getting sneaky high. It just gets more expensive every time I see it. So I didn't want to lose out on it. Like the mini Minoso, you know, cause there's so many cards I want. So <laughs> I had money in my pocket. The card was in front of me. I talked the guy down like 50 bucks 
And when you put that much energy into negotiating, I mean, it's fair. I mean, he had a price and I got him down to 50 bucks because, you know, I was pointing out some things, you know, it has a fish eye, has a, has the, the surprise is gone, 1960 Yaz. But it does have a little fish eye right here, a little OC. But the reason I really got him down is because the corner was dinged up. Again, it doesn't matter to me. I don't mind my vintage looking vintage. I don't need a dang six. If it was a six, I'd be paid $500. I paid two. I mean, I could have, like I said, if I was patient, I probably could have found this, found this car for like 175 But at the end of the day, what am I going to do? I'm going to miss out on a car over 25 bucks. I learned that lesson at last year's National. I was looking for the perfect car, the perfect price. And uh, I missed out on so many cards. <laughs> I'm not saying not to be patient, but if it's over twenty dollars, I mean, come on. If I bought this online, it will cost me, you know, five ten dollars to ship, anyways. So, and then I have it in my hand, so I was happy with the purchase for this year. I was happy with it. I am happy. I could cross it off because every time I look on eBay, I'm finding this card, you know, in fives, way too much money. But, I, you know, it's not a collector's grave because it'd be a six, but even a five is super, it's, it's just getting dumb. But I like it. Got enough borders for me. White along all, all the edges. Registration is good. Color is bright. It's just that corner damage on the back. If it was on the front, I probably would have been like, eh. But this is a beautiful card. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm a mess. I'm just trying to get this out. Boom. Good day at the show. I mean, not too bad. Two killer Hall of Fame rookie cards. Some great friends. And, uh, yeah. Can't wait to do it again. So with that, peace out. Go Yankees.